Okay, in this video, we're going to go over a few of the basics of the Windows Movie Maker. And we're going to edit our video. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to put our movie in here. Now you can either click here and browse to it, or we can open up the folder. And we can just drag it in here. Okay, and that drags it into the editing area. Okay, so you see over here we have the video and if we play it, it starts going through here and I can hear the sound coming through. Okay, so from here there's a few things that you would probably want to do. Usually you want an intro on your video. Okay, so what we can do is we can go over to title here. These are your title clips that you can put on. And we have different formats we can use. Okay, so I'm just putting my mouse over this first one. You see that it zooms from the bottom. Okay, this one flips down, and this one out. And as you see, you can pick the animations you want for that here. Now, also, you can choose the background color, the foreground color, the fonts, and everything else here. So the first thing you're going to want to do is set this up the way you want it. Okay, so let's set the background color to white, wherever that is. Okay, and then let's um, edit the text here. And we're going to want to set the text color to something that contrasts with that. Okay, so I'm going to just make it black here. Okay, and then we can edit this now. So, okay, now you see these points here. We can expand this. And if you make it across like this, you can move the whole thing. Okay, now let's put our mouse over here. And now you see that. Now we can also go and we can change the size of the font, the actual font here. So say we wanted Verdana. Okay, now we have it in Verdana. We can shrink it down a bit. and so on. Okay, so there you have your intro screen. So now if we were to play this, you see that it is coming in there and then we go into the movie. Okay, and then you can also put in credits. So a credit clip of course goes at the back end here. You see that it automatically positions itself back here. And then you would do the same thing, basically set the background color, set the text color. And then just fill out your credits. whatever you want there okay and then when you hit the enter key of course it just makes another line okay and then now you can just click where you want to start here and then we can play from the back end there and then it, you'll see the credits rolling up now, the other thing you might want to be doing is editing out mistakes. If you, what you need to do is find an area. If you're playing through your video and you find an area with a mistake, what you want to do is put a marker on each side and then you're going to want to cut out that area. Okay, so what we, let's just play through a little bit here just so I can demonstrate.
Okay, so say we wanted to put a mark there. What would we do? Well, first of all, let me say, right now we are at home. We have animation. Okay, so there is an animation. Wherever we're sitting, it's going to put that animation there. So if we had been, let me go back here. If we go back to the beginning and we put an animation on it, you'll see that we can animate our title clips as well. Okay, and there's lots more of them here. Visual effects. Okay, so we have blur. There's different things you can do at the area of the screen where you're on right now. Okay, this is just for your project. You're going to do different things with your video. Make a widescreen standard when you when you save it. Emphasize the music and so on. Okay, but what we want to do, well, here we have view. But what we're heading for was edit. Okay, so let's click over here. Let's just play through a little bit or I can drag it. Okay, so say I want to put a marker right there. I can just do split here. Okay, so I've now isolated this piece here. I could just go on the Okay, so say I want to go to there. I can split that. Now, if I click on here and I hit the delete key, it has now taken that piece out. So if I play through here, it has entirely cut that piece out. Okay, now if I made a mistake and I want to undo it, I can just go here and you'll see undo. So if I click that, it puts it back in there. So that's one method of doing it and that's the way I like to do it. But they also have a set start point and a set end point and then you can use the trim tool. Okay, so it does really the same thing. Okay, so that's how you can edit stuff out of there. Now, I have a split in my timeline in both of these spots. So I could actually import another video I recorded and put it in here. I can import pictures and I could put the images in here. So those are the lot you can do with it. Now you may want to put some music in the background. We would just hit the home button for that and then we would click add music and then we can pick music for the project. So let's click there. And then where we're going to get it from. So let's click add music from the PC here. Okay, here's the MP3 I want to use. Let's open. And that's now imported the music track in here. Okay, so you should take a listen to it now. Make sure it's not too loud. Okay, now let's set the start time for our music. So we can just click over here. And then we'll click set start time. And that will now start the music after our intro slide. Okay, now we can set our end time. Now you'll see here that the music clip actually isn't as long as the video. So it's a if we wanted to set our end time here, for instance, we click there and we set our end point, and that's where the music ends. Okay. Now we should be ready with the music. So let's have a listen here. Let's uh, give it a play, and we should be able to hear our voice over the music. Okay, so let's go from here. Okay, as you can see, the music is still far too loud. So let's go back to music volume and set it way down. Let's try it there. Let's give it a play here.
Okay, so there we go. Okay, so as you can hear, the music is now comfortably in the background. Okay, now there's a number of other things you can do with Windows Movie Maker, but that's going to get you started. That'll get you to the point where you can put your edit out your mistakes, you can put your title and credit slides in, you can put some background music in there. You could also, I already said that you can bring in some pictures and other things and you can put them in here as well. So the last thing you want to do is create the movie. So if we go over here, click save movie. Well, first of all, we should probably save the project. If you save the project, you can come back and you can edit it at any time. So let's go here and let's save the project. Okay, and then we're going to give it a, a name here. Let's call it test. But whatever it is, video one or what have you. Okay, so we've saved the project. We can open this project at any time and continue working on it. But to get it ready for anybody else to see, what you have to do is save the movie. So there are different things here. You can do for high definition display, you burn to a DVD, for computer, for email. Okay, what we want to do is for computer. Okay, so it's going to make an MP4 file for us. Let's save. Okay, now it's going through the rendering process. So we need to wait for that to complete. Okay, so here it is, your video file is done. Let's play. Okay, so here it is here. Okay, so that's it. You've now created your video. Now there are some quick settings here. You can share them through SkyDrive, Facebook, YouTube, right from within the app here if you want to do that. Okay, so basically that's it. You now know how to record your screen capture video using the Windows Media Encoder and how to do some basic editing functions using Windows Movie Maker.